And what's up, trick or treaters? Welcome back to another How to Get More Halloween Candy. And what I have right here is a very heavy and full treat basket. And there's a lot of candy on there. And I'm gonna show you guys how your treat basket can look like this. Pretty much overfilled, as you can see. Candy's falling off of it because it's full. So make sure you stick around and watch this whole video because the methods that I'm about to show you will get you a bunch of these. And before we get started with that, let me tell you guys about the giveaway for this video. So I'm giving away a treat basket like this one, but much, much larger with a lot of candy to someone from the comments. And in order for that giveaway to happen, this video has to have at least 1,000 likes. So to enter this giveaway, make sure you like this video and leave a cool comment below. That is it. It could be any type of comment. You guys can leave a Halloween joke or tell me what you're gonna wear for Halloween. Whatever it is, just leave a comment below. Oh, and remember that my movie Prankster is coming out soon, so look out for that. So let's get to trick-or-treating, guys. Check it out. Now, while COVID's still going on this year, we're gonna use it to our advantage. We're gonna use social distancing to help us get more Halloween candy. So you're gonna have your treat basket in every house you knock on or every house you approach if you see your neighbors out there, you tell them trick or treat from about six feet away because you're trying to social distance, right? And then you tell them trick or treat, don't get near them and just tell them, hey, can you toss the candy into my treat basket? Well, they're gonna try to do it, right? They're gonna attempt to throw it. Most people are really good from six feet away, but here's the thing, you have possession of your treat basket, so you can pretty much move it as the piece of candy is coming towards you. So, for example, I have my treat basket right here and my neighbor wants to throw a piece of candy in there. Well, this is what will happen. Ha ha ha, I moved it out of the way. Then the piece of candy fell right here in front of me. Neighbor is not really gonna come over and pick it up, right? So I'm gonna tell him, can you throw me another one, sir? <laughs> and so after five attempts, you know, that's when you call it quits. But you're getting five pieces of candy when normally you would just get one. So all the pieces of candy that fell right in front of me, I'm gonna pick up and take with me. Cause I know my neighbor isn't really gonna ask for it. In fact, they don't really care. And overall, I just gave them some entertainment, something to do because they just had some fun throwing candy at me. Since currently, guys, we live in the time of social media where everybody takes pictures, everybody takes videos, and a lot of people these days are live streaming everything they do. Well, let's go ahead and live stream while we trick or treat. Now you're asking yourself, how is that gonna help me get more Halloween candy? You won't believe it, guys, but it will increase your chances of getting more candy faster and by the handfuls. So basically, you're gonna be carrying your phone. You can actually live stream it or pretend like you're live streaming. It doesn't matter, just have your phone on your hand and then your tree basket on the other. So as you're walking, pretend like you're live streaming and you're talking to your fans, your audience, whoever cares to listen to what you're saying. You're walking towards your neighbor and you're calling it out as you see it. Oh guys, look at this house. It's so cool, it's so lit. It has a lot of colors. So let's move forward and trick or treat. Oh hi ma'am, I'm live streaming right now and I gotta say, your house has been one of the best houses that I've seen in my neighborhood and my fans are really, really enjoying your decorations. Anyway, here's my basket, trick or treat, and then you pretend like your attention goes back to your audience. And you go, oh, oh Miss Parker is about to drop a handful of candy into my treat basket. Basically, you're putting her on the spot. And by doing so, she'll have to go off by what you're saying. So if you're saying she's gonna give you a handful of candy and drop it in your treat basket, then she's gonna be doing exactly that, guys. And by the end of the day, you do this to all your neighbors. This thing will be full. You have to go home, come back, go home, come back. Do it a few times. You're gonna have a lot of candy, guys, with less effort. This following method, we're all guilty of. How many of you guys out there have gone on and trick-or-treated at the same house twice, three times, sometimes four, right? There's a lot of you guys out there that have done that. I've done it when I was little, and really there's nothing wrong with that, but let's say that you do go to one house first. Let's say I go and knock on one door, trick or treat, all right, they give me some candy. I leave and then I come back, and not a lot of time will have passed by, and they'll be like, whoa, it's you again. And you tell me, yeah, there's, I went around the corner and there are no houses giving out candy. It's like this neighborhood is dead. You make them believe that there's not a lot of people passing out candy. And what's gonna happen? Well, they're gonna be like, whoa, poor kid, I better give him extra pieces of candy because it seems like I'm the only neighbor here that's passing out candy. 
So yeah, your chances of getting more Halloween candy from that house that you trick-or-treated twice will increase really high. Now, I don't really recommend that you eat the candy that you're collecting during the night. You gotta make sure that it's safe, so you gotta go home and check that it's okay to eat. So, for this method, you're gonna have to go out and buy some candy of your own, but you're gonna have to eat it before you go trick-or-treating. Why? Well, because you're gonna need the wrappers, and the more wrappers you have, the better. You're actually gonna have to put some candy in the treat basket. It's not a lot, but this amount will seem credible. Pretty much, you're barely starting out. Then you're gonna take your wrappers, they're all empty, and you're gonna put them in there. Like that, guys. You can mix it if you want. And here's how this can play out in a couple ways. You could go up to your neighbors and knock on their door, say the magic words, trick or treat, and if they actually look into your treat basket, they might be able to spot the wrappers in there. If not, well guess what? Once you approach their house and you're about to trick or treat, you pretend like you accidentally drop your treat basket. And so all the contents are gonna drop on the ground and they'll see that, oh wow, this kid, they've been giving him nothing but wrappers and a candy here and there. That's not good. They're gonna try to compensate and put some actual candy in your tree basket. And most likely it's gonna be a lot. If they do ask you though, hey kid, have you been eating the candy that's in your tree basket? You tell them, no sir, my mom told me not to eat any candy until I get home. So again, they're gonna feel bad and give you more candy. That's for sure. All right, for this method, what you're gonna need is a stick. Any type of stick will do. Preferably one of these. This is for picking up trash. It's got the claw on one end and you got the handle with the little trigger. Now this I'm gonna pass off as a stick. So I'm gonna keep the claw shut, right? And I'm gonna pretend like I'm blind, right? So I'm gonna walk towards my neighbor's house and if I'm with a group of people even better, I'm gonna be wearing some sunglasses. Just make sure they're not too dark so you can actually see at night. So I'm gonna walk over to the front door, knock, and do the whole trick-or-treat thing, right? So basically I'm gonna present them with my treat basket so they can put some candy in there. And I guarantee you guys that these people are gonna put a lot of candy in your treat basket because they're thinking that you have a disability. It's just how things are, guys. I normally do the same thing, but I'm always generous to all kids. I always give them a bunch of candy, but most likely you're gonna be getting handfuls of candy if you carry a stick and pretend like you're blind. Now, here's the funny part, guys. Once you're walking away, if they ask you, hey, what is your costume supposed to be? Well, you tell them, my costume is a blind man, right? So that right there, you're basically being honest to them, but this is after the fact that they've already filled your treat basket with candy. So you're not really scamming them because you're being upfront about it. So you get a lot of candy in your basket, and then again, go on to the next house and do the same thing your treat basket will feel faster than whoever you're with trick-or-treating that night. And that's it guys, five clever ways that will help you get the most Halloween candy this year when you go trick-or-treating. If you do this right, your baskets will be overfilled with a lot of candy, probably all the candy that you love. So I really hope these help you guys out. Good luck pranksters and have an amazing and safe Halloween. I'll see you guys in my next video.